Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3, where we are playing as Carlos. Not a friend. If you're reading this, I'm already dead. Don't hear any noise coming from the locker. Please don't open it. While I don't patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need a battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs to find you, since I know you've got the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wood as best as I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you mustn't open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out there as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. But yes, don't worry about $600 a lent. You think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. That's a crying shame. This one is CAP. And another flash grenade. Better not. Ah, oh, of course, because Leon does that. Okay, so we need to bash this wall open using the okay. electronic gadget. Guess we'll be doing this the explody way. But I need to get batteries from a safety deposit room. Which the only thing I can imagine is a. Well, what did that file say? Uh, I headed upstairs to find you since I knew you had a key. So, is he right upstairs? Yeah, that's what I don't get. Did I miss miss the key at the safety deposit room? Okay, it's not up here. Those are kind of mental, aren't they? Okay. So there's two storage boxes and just the locked door to the safety deposit room. Hmm. We got anything that we don't need just now? Oh no, I've got the key! I can't remember where I got it from. Burp. Alright, nice key. And that's why this is open for Leon later on. Nothing in any of these. Not even a gun. So that 109's got a grenade, 106 and 104. Duh. No! And uh, there's no two button.
A nine volt battery. Mine now. Come the papa. Nice. Um. Yeah. Oh, and that's the DCM. Okay. Well, obviously we knew it from uh, from Resi Two. Well, that's where you get that locker combination, anyway. Don't know what that was. Not gonna care. Drop that in there. Drop that in there. Keep hold of that. Drop that in there. And let's save it. I heard a noise from a a zomber. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Alright, mate. A three second timer. I'd have probably set that a bit longer myself, but. And that's what broke the steam. Whoa! Whoa! No! Come on! Oh! I mean... Oh! We good? Oh. oh my god. Fuck it off, man. Yep, see you later. Whoa! This is Oh no, come on! It's the star's office, but I want to double check and get everything, you know? I wasted a lot of ammo there. I'm sure I didn't need to, but... Incoming call. Dr. Bard. I've been trying to reach somebody. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Now, negative. 
RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out. <laughs> Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. That's why they want to kill you. Either sit there with your dick in your hand or send send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. How did you get here? I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Mihail. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Well, Mihail blew himself the fuck up. This will take some time. That was Look weird. around, see if you can find anything useful. And there's another one of them. That's a letter that uh, Chris leaves to Claire. First aid spray from is that Sherry's bag? Well, they need the green herbs yet. The red, though. Wesker's office. Is that Jill in the front row? That was odd. I'm trying to... Obviously, I don't know as much about Resident Evil as most people. Is that Barry at the back? The back right? That's cool, man. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation lo located in Arkley Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arkley Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On the 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. The casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of Star's. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. So, where I thought that we'd be finding a. Stars keycard. In here somewhere. Well, apparently not. Like we need to. I don't get it. I'm supposed to be looking around. I feel like I've explored enough of this. Like, what am I missing? I don't get it. Oh, I just need to try and yeah, leave. Yeah, what's up? Got you. Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. So we didn't open up any of those. Does that mean that we're coming back to the RPD as Jill? Because I don't think I missed anything. Maybe I did. Oh, I'd be gutted if I missed something. The Carlos Express. Yeah, I'd be gutted if I missed, um... Several minutes earlier in the subway tunnels. If I missed a keycard.
find a way above ground. With the moon that I checked the map, I don't know how I could. I can tell you right now, Nikolai made it. Huge bag. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? That's a lot of... I guess I'm out of range. A lot of explosive rounds. Oh. Oh, I didn't even get... Oh, it's mine rounds. Got yeah. Okay, let's read that file. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you. It's guaranteed for the brass bank. Your sacks are called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls of the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will be detecting approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as an unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Nice. Nice. That's the thing, I've got like a load of explosive rounds, I've got a load of mine rounds. I've got two explosive A's and explosive B so that I can make more. I've got a ton of herbs. I don't have any pistol ammo, but I feel like taking a grenade launcher now that I've got so many bloody rounds for it. Alright, I should go to save. I'm going to save after the Carlos one just in case I didn't get the the thing so that I can go back and find out exactly where the heck it was. I'm assuming this is trying to teach me about the mine rounds, but I mean, there's no items around here, so I ain't wasting it. Oh no! Oh, come on! There we go. I keep hitting the R1 button and just completely whiffing it. Anyway, zombies can't climb. Fucker's still alive. I can't stay here. I mean, it seems it definitely seems somewhere. The creature. I feel like I'm going to be glad that I brought my. Yeah. My grenade launcher in a second. Alright, if we run out of space. Then I'll, uh. Clock Tower brochure. So Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It's been a beloved, become a beloved icon, and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. Is this not the same one that's on that's in Resi 2? So Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in a developing city and the first floor was used in elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century and the student body of St Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed as once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993 and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Ah, more pistols. More pistol ammos. Now we've got everything. Alright, but unfortunately that's all we've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.